So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And we actually have something really special for you guys. Yes, the FNAF World teaser trailer has just dropped. And you guys, I'm sure have already seen it. So now, me and other Ryan are actually going to watch this trailer for the first time. Yes, and we're going to analyse it for you guys, as we always do with every other Five Nights related trailer. Absolutely. So let's jump straight into it. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. So oh. that's very uh, foreboding already. Absolutely. And very nicely textured as well. They've stalked you. Oh, what? What? Oh, wow. Look at Ch Chica's texture. Wow, that looks really uh, damaged. It's interesting that he's used the FNAF 1 animatronics, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I was just going to say about the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 eyeless animatronics. Like, yeah. how he, like, included them in this at the start, which is cool. So it's they've they, so he's talking you. past tense here. So he's definitely talking about what they've done in the past. So, yeah. but now they're... That pop. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's brilliant. What the hell? Oh man, pieces. What? Oh my god, the endos are actually they they shoot. Oh, so I reckon oh my god. This actually looks kind of awesome. <laughs> oh, look at those plates, Jesus. Oh god. Wow, sending the mini Fredlids in. Starring. Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Oh. Bonnie. Chica. Uh, Fuck Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> is he going to really do every single one of them? Oh, Gosh, for God's sake. He is. <laughs> wow, so JJ still not got a name. Oh, my God. It's oh so my loud. God. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> he literally spent ages just rigging that, just for that yeah, sole that's, purpose. That's why this teaser trailer took so long to come out, guys. It was the mangle playing with the ping pong <laughs> thing. That was the most important thing to animate. And you know yeah, what? It, that didn't go unappreciated. That was actually really awesome. Nice, yeah. Guys, really cool. you know, when you come to these sort of things, you kind of have to have a fresh face, don't you? I mean, we yeah. know it's not a horror game. We know it's a, a totally different take. And it, it's definitely justifying that, isn't it? Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, the it, vibes I'm getting from this is definitely something I almost expected. You know, um, for example, there's a snippet where it kind of shows Freddy Fazbear walking around, and you know, yeah. like, the whole top-down feel. That was something I was definitely anticipating. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, I suppose if we actually skip ahead to, you know, when we're actually fighting these guys. Yeah. Um, if you actually look, the endoskeletons, do they have guns? No, they don't. They have, they have robot claws. I like how they have purple hats and purple bow ties, though. No, I'm talking about the actual endoskeletons that, that are kind of shooting. They have like cannon arms. Oh, the endoskeleton. Yeah, yeah Jesus. <laughs> I thought you meant the enemies. No, yeah, no, that's, no. That's... What, what generation? So that's the FNAF 1 generation too. Yeah. Interesting. And the enemies, they, well, they definitely, you can tell it's obviously not canon. I mean, these guys are definitely not linked to the, uh, the, uh, the feel that we were getting before, I suppose you could say. But these guys do actually look like some of the robots, maybe like the prototype robots to an extent yeah. that we were seeing in the, uh, the small mini game. But after that, we then see these like crab things, don't we? Yeah. They look like they've got party hats on. They do to an extent, actually. So that's kind of interesting because that kind of hints towards maybe the fact that the enemies we're going to see, they're not all going to be from Five Nights at Freddy's. And in a way, you know, this is actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, like, uh, there are certain attacks that we see on the screen, like Toxic Bike, Mystery Box, Pizza Wheel. Yeah. I think they're all attacks from certain characters that we're going to be playing as in the game. Absolutely, yeah. And it's, like a it, kind of, yeah, Final Fantasy kind of thing. Yeah. Almost. I like the kind of layout that the screen's going for, too. It's very vibrant, it's very colourful, and, you know, man, I'm kind of happy in a way, the fact that they're not actually using the, you know, the whole of Five Nights at Freddy's lore within this. I'm kind of happy that they're, well, that Scott's taken a different direction with it, because it's kind of expanding the series, and, you know, FNAF, the horror side of FNAF needs to kind of remain unique, because that's why we all know of it. Yeah, and it's nice. And it's nice now that it, we've kind of got this kid-friendly side that looks like it's going to just be dedicated towards fun. And, uh, you know, it's totally different from the, the horror guys. Um, and it's going to be a nice new take on it. And hopefully, I think people need to appreciate that. This is a totally different game. And it's clearly not taking any inspiration directly from the FNAF horror themes uh, of the games that we've seen. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. As well, I've got to say one more thing about the intro sequence. I think that was quite nice how he, Scott's kind of paid homage to really just the original cast. Yeah, yeah, like he's he's textured them really nicely as well. He's made them look really nice and really spooky, and obviously that yeah. was to lure you in and be like, oh god, and then all of a sudden, yeah. I mean, I got I got to be honest for the start bit for the first two, I was thinking, oh boy, what have we just been like misled this whole time? Yeah, it's like, what's what's going on here? And then all of a sudden, I was, but when it was like, but now there, I was like, okay, I'm waiting for it. And then there goes the pop and the big cute text. Yeah, man, and that pretty it's much good. answered the question. Yeah. Okay, now the last portion of this video, which is actually located at 1 minute 17, if you guys do also want to see, which I think is actually 
probably the most important thing in this whole teaser trailer. Yeah, it's um, the, the person behind it all. It's, uh, it's the, the Mangle. The Mangle guys, and uh, I mean, wow, if we actually play this video too, we can see that the endoskeleton on the side really doesn't want to be here. Yeah. He must be out in the field. He's not happy. He's looking at this guy saying, yeah, you know, okay, you need to, you need to get me. me out of here. Yeah, the Mangle yeah. is too easily entertained. It's just a cheeky grin at the end as well. When yeah. He, when, when it <laughs> looks at the camera, so happy. <laughs> yeah, man, it's freaking awesome. That's great. Scott, you know, this is actually looking to be kind of fun, and you know what? I think this is going to be a nice take because yeah. I, I think this, uh, this franchise needs a refreshment. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, so there we go. That was a look at the FNAF World teaser trailer. Hopefully you guys did actually also think this is kind of awesome. Guys, I know some of you are probably going to be saying in the comment section that this is not what you expected, and of course it's not supposed to be. It's meant to be a totally unique and different game. Yeah, obviously, you know, he surprised us at the very start there, but the, all in all, this is going to be a cute, kid-friendly, cuddly kind of game. So, Absolutely, yeah. and uh, I think it's going to be fun to play. Yeah, definitely. Alright then guys, so be sure to let us know in the comment section also down below your thoughts towards this trailer because, you know, we're interested to see what your response is for this and, uh, you know, wow, it's a totally different look and uh, it'll be nice to see how the community reacts. Yeah, and if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below and if you're new to our channel, why not subscribe for more interesting videos like this and other gameplay videos. So thank you very much for watching the video guys, we of course hope you did enjoy and we'll of course see you on the next one. Goodbye guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?